Hey, what is up, guys? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. So, first and foremost, thank you for all the support. I'm going to say it in every video because it applies every single video. We are at 820 subscribers. I had planned, like, I don't know if you, if you guys were here, like, two weeks ago. I said, boys, we're growing insanely fast. The goal is 1,000 subs by middle May. <laughs> it's like March what? What is it? March? March 15th? March 15th, I, I, I did it in a few days. I didn't even need the 70 days I was I was planning for. So we're almost there. Everyone watching this, drop the sub. We're gonna hit 1,000 by tonight. That's the goal, so everyone go sub right now. Everyone watching this, new, brand new, you won't regret it. We have, like I keep saying, 175 spots pretty much left in the before 1,000 uh, squad. So you guys get to say when I'm huge on YouTube, you were here before 1,000 subs. You guys are gonna, you guys are gonna wanna be able to say that. I promise you that, so. Otherwise, you guys keep hitting these like goals. So my like goal last video. So I have three trips planned for this year, right? I got I'm going to Punta Cana, California, and Boston. And I plan to film all of them. So my like goal is if you guys want some footage for California, get it above 100 likes. So everyone new here too, just get it above 100 likes. If you guys show me, keep showing me that you guys want to see it. I'll record. I'll record and vlog my uh, California trip, and I'll post it up here when I get back. Also, I'm gonna be pre-recording videos. For uh, my week I'm in California, so you guys still get content daily. Don't you know? Don't want to kill the momentum of this channel either, and don't you guys forget about me that fast. Also, a lot of people have been asking me how to make coins without too many coins. So I was thinking, it's hard, right? Because money makes money in reality. In real, it's it's it, the essence of life is money makes money. You the more money you have, the easier it is to make money. Sometimes, why rich people who start off rich can get even richer. The rich get richer, right? So I think that the poor in this game per se, people with a little less coins, aren't taking this the right way. I started this game with no coins. I have one of the best teams in Madden now. I have a lot of coins. Why? I didn't buy packs. You guys know, if you guys have been an OG, you know, day one, I still have 50 points on my account. I don't buy packs. I refuse to. It's a waste of money in my mind. Now, if you guys are new, the 50 points are for the, I buy the uh, level up packs. I think those are a good deal. Now, how to make coins. First off, people ignore the objective list. So I believe today is going to be a coin method that stumps all the coin methods because it doesn't require coins. It's going to be a way to get Hundreds of thousands of coins without using a lot of coins. So first one, first one, do this every day, daily, done. I don't have to tell you guys that, you guys know that. Get you, it got me 250k last week, if you guys saw my Twitter, so it's my uh, pinned tweet. Now, these objective lists, I do them every week. You don't have to think about them, just play the game and you get them done. You just literally get them done. That's 5k, 1k, 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 that's 8k already. 8k, um, 11k. I don't really usually do these. I get this one done too, so that's about... 12k just for playing the game plus 7.5k so that's already almost 20k for doing nothing now these solos 10k 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 250k so that's 300k there plus the other set which is 20k so i'm at 370k i usually finish these so that's 100k but i know this one's hard so i'm not even gonna count that but if you did we'd be at about 300 something k you finish this shazier which i'm getting there i still can't get these solo tackles done that's already like 550k now you do these. These don't get you coins, but you get a nice Shazier. Do not sleep on the Shazier, best linebacker in the game. Now, just level up. Simply leveling up gets you free training points. You get a Legend Fantasy Pack and a Ultimate Legend Pack. This will get you at least 50 to 100k, minimum. You get a good guy, 400k. It all depends. You get Vic, 600k. Would have been 900k a few days ago. All these objectives alone can make you millions of coins. Like these packs, if you hit on all these packs right here, You'd be over a million coins. Plus the other 500, you could be at between 1.5 and 2 million coins just by doing the objectives. Just by doing the objectives. And these, these are huge too. It doesn't give you, you don't think you get coins from these. Every time you hit one of these objectives, mark below, see, see the subtitle 1.125 million offensive yards. It says get rewarded for 125K, 250K, 500K. Every time you hit one of those objectives, you get a good amount of coins. I'll get out of a game and it'll say 30K for hitting a certain yard marker. Like, I'm telling you, do not sleep on these objectives. I'm literally the way I made coins this year. I literally just played the game. I hopped on. I played 20 games. Let's say I get off a game 30k for touchdowns, a 10k passing objective, uh, Shazier thing done, uh, daily objective. Before you know, I got 60k. And I was like, whoa, what just what just happened? Every day I looked, my coins are going up. So that's the first one, right? The first one's obviously that. Now another way to get without coins is this pack right here because this pack is only 500 coins. You guys have seen this video. I went over it way too many times. But if you haven't, I will link it in the outro. And if not, I'll go over it real quick, just real quick. You buy this pack, you get silvers or power-ups, you buy them on so when the new guys drop, which I don't know if it's Saturday or Sunday, I'm blanking right now. Go watch my video, it'll be in the outro. You want to get the new power-ups, you can sell them for a ton of coins. 
It's just 500 coins. Everyone has 500 coins. I know now people are going to comment. I have 10 coins, right? I'm so sorry for you. But if you have it, if you just go play one solo. You'll be above it. Get your daily objective. That's a good one. The Mutt level packs are huge in saving coins. These packs are worth it. Like, I, got, I, I bought this pack and then sold my Odell for 50k. Like, that was 12k made right there. These packs are always worth it. I don't recommend touching any of these. This one's okay. $1. fifty for a team builder. If you have it's just a dollar, I mean, it's not horrible. Now, getting over to the sets. Okay, so the sets that I prefer here. First off, as per in the other videos that I have explained multiple and multiple times, you're going to want to do this set right here. So, the low silver to high silver player exchange. Simple, cut and dry. You do it. You pull a power up, you sell it when the new powers come up. Don't just do it right now. Wait till this weekend. Please don't do it. Do it when the new powers come out this weekend. Go watch my video. Like I said, it'll be in the outro. Now, another good one is team items. So what I do is when you get those packs and you don't get the you won't get the players you want. So you get a bunch of silver players. You toss them into either or gold players. You toss the gold players into the playbooks or you toss them into the defensive playbooks. I don't really like the alternates, those dropped in price. You toss them the coaches. So that's good when you get silver or when you get gold. When you get gold out of those packs, it's toss them right in here or you sell them for a K each. Also, another underrated thing. People don't know how to make money off a pack, right? So look, watch. If you like popping pro packs or gold player packs, good for you. I don't mind. Nothing wrong with that. Look, you open this pack, right? So first thing, people don't have to properly use a pack. So you get one gold, right? 71 Don Carey. Second player, Terrence Smith. Third player, Nick Easton, Mud Hero, Malcolm Butler. Okay, this was an anomaly. It won't, it won't be this good for a bad pack. But let me show you what I'm talking about. So people don't know how to make money off their packs. So people think, oh, 7.5K, wasted gun. No, no, no. Every pack, in my opinion, you're only going to lose 3K no matter what. 3K. Because if you think about it, you get five players. You can sell them for at least 500 to 1,000 coins. So watch. Terrence Smith sells for 900 coins. Okay, so now we're down to about... Let's just, let's just round to 6.8. We only lost 6.8 coins so far. I always sell. I every I, I go pack by pack. I buy the pack. I sell I sell the assets. Buy the pack, sell the assets. That way I could track how much I'm really losing. So this card, I'm going to sell this for about 1,200 because that 850 is not the lowest. So now I'm at about 5.5K. Let's go with. I've lost 5.5K. Less than what we started with. Right? Now, Don Carey. Don Carey goes for... 500 coins. So now I've lost about 5k. 5k. This one's really cheap. Jonathan Bullard. I've now 2k. I've lost 3k. Below 3k. Truthfully, I'm, I'm rounding, but so I've lost about below below 3k, which is amazing considering I have a chance to pull something good out of that. Now, do I recommend packs? No. But I know no matter what I say, people are still going to buy packs. No one's gonna listen to me on that one. So. Malcolm Butler, I don't know. I'm going to put him up for like 40K. I don't know. Let's see if that sells. But my point is, and then if you pull, if you even just pull an, eight, if you pull an 80 overall elite card, done. You, you did it already. If you get five golds, you lose about three to 4K. If you get one elite card, you break even. If you get a good elite card, you make money. Pro packs are literally not that bad. They're really not that bad. I'm not going to go one by one again in this one. I'm going gonna, gonna to open it. I'm going to tell you what I believe they go for because I, I have a pretty good rough estimate of this stuff. Okay, gold card. 800 coins 800 coins i'll just round it 800 coins 800 coins 500 coins so that's eight times four which is 2400 500 round up a little bit 3000 so i lost about 4k on that pack and that's a bad pack that's not bad at all so that's just well, done with the done with the packs just doing that because we both know people are going to pop packs anyways now working the auction block obviously sniping sniping's always been there it's very simple I'm just going to give you the rule of thumb for all snipes. Any snipe you're going to do should clear the gap for the reduction. So to give, so here, 15K Ladanian Tomlinson. You do the math. You lose 10% each sale. So you're going to lose 1,500, 1.590 just about. You're going to lose about 1,590 coins. So you subtract that off, right? Subtract that off. That brings you to about 14,400, 14, let's say. So you need to sell this card for below 14,400 to not lose coins. So realistically, I like to think about, I like to do it as like almost a 15% rule or 20% rule. I like to buy cards for 20% mark down so that I know I can make a 10% mark up if that makes sense. So like 
If it's 15K, I'll buy it for about 12K. I'll sell it for about 15, 15K. I lose the reduction. I gain back 1,500, 2,000 coins. Rule of thumb, you guys will comprehend that. Always buy things that mark down above 10%. If you do anything below 10%, you're losing. Now, if you're going to invest, that's a different story. If you're just going to buy and you're going to wait and invest, a whole different story. But if you're just sniping, you're looking to, you're looking to buy and then acquire your coins, just do that. Another big one, solo challenges. People sleep on these solos. I've done ev- I've done a lot of solo. I slowed down because obviously I've been doing YouTube. But if you go back to day one, a lot of coins to be made here. Made a few hundred K off here. Made a few hundred K off here. Made a few hundred K off all of these cards. And they give you NAT cards you put into the set. Obviously, we're way past that. We are past the expiration date on these. There's not even there's not even a point. You can still do them for coins, but the the, the oh my bad. The use for them that they used to be is not there anymore. The margin is gone, but for next year's Madden, just sub to me, and you guys will know exactly what to do. Next year's Madden, I'm going to go off, and you guys are going to be here for all of it. All my grinding out, probably on stream, doing a lot of the grinding, and then on video showing you the rewards and everything, and how I did it. The gauntlets were huge. Free players. You could still do these gauntlets right now if your teams were starting off new. Journeys, I'm not a fan of, but they still give you coins, packs, and free players. Team Diamond was a good one. Team of the Year. All these, you have to, If you did all these solos, you'd have a team like mine. I'm telling you, all these solos with daily objectives and some online gameplay got me my team. The thing is that people want to do one. They only want to play online. They only want to do solos. They don't want to do solo battles. They don't want to do their um, objectives. They don't want to play. Like, if you did all your... I understand people don't have time. I get that. But I'm saying people that do have time. A lot of people have time and they just want, they just want the easy bag. They just, want to, they just want, to, they want to play all day and not grind. They just want to sit there and make, like wait for the 150 coin snipe that's going to make them all their coins. No. I said screw sniping this year. Because sniping and grinding will equal about the same. But the difference is grinding is fun. Sniping can get boring sometimes. So, in my opinion, this video is getting a little long. Sorry, guys. So, for next year and just for now in general, play all play your solos. They're almost all going to be useful. These these newer ones I haven't been a fan of, but they've all been good. These are good. You get the scouts. You can do the or or do these before I get out of here. Do these and take those scouts. Either redeem it for a auctionable player or put them right into here and roll your luck on these or even these. So that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying. And if you haven't already at this point in the video and you haven't liked me yet, drop the sub. You won't regret it. We're gonna I want to hit a thousand subs out tonight. That is the goal. We're growing crazy fast within this Madden community. Like people are taking notice. And the more you guys sub, the more we're gonna be taking notice of. I'm getting DMs from my, my phone is blowing up as I'm trying to make this video. Like it's distracting. My YouTube is blowing up, my comments are blowing up, my Twitter DMs are blowing up. People are taking notice and people are not people are not sleeping anymore, as I've been saying. We're up next, boys. Everyone drop the sub right now, drop a comment. The like goal, get above 100 likes so I can vlog my trip, like I've been saying in the other video. And um, again, like I said in the last video, if you guys have enjoyed this video, comment down below 20K. I said this in the last video. Everyone that comments 20K, if we hit our like goal, I will give one person who comments 20K, 20K. Very simple, right? We hit our like goal, you comment down below 20K. If we hit our like goal, I will pick a random commenter and give him 20K. Easy enough. All right, so I'm out, I'm out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.